A year ago, he took the lives of his wife and a friend. But today, a post man lost his own to a future behind bars. John Wislosik pleaded guilty today in the double murder of Justine Wislosik and Andrew Toscano in exchange for the death penalty being taken off the table. Instead, he agreed and was sentenced to life without parole. It has been an emotional day for Justine's mother, who has asked us to refer to her daughter by her maiden name, which is Hosseini. She talked with Garrett Berger about getting a measure of closure on the anniversary of her daughter's death. The absence of her presence is deafening to us. There's not a day goes by that we don't think about her. A year ago today, Margaret Hosseini Browder lost her daughter, Justine Hosseini, after she and Andrew Toscano were shot and killed by her husband, John Boslasek. I don't understand it. Justine loved him wholeheartedly. She believed in him. What exactly was behind the murders still hasn't been made public. There's lots of different motivations that we believe may have been involved. Not, probably not anything I'd want to put on okay. camera. But Hosseini Browder says she learned some details through court testimony, like her daughter was close to the door holding her purse. Justine was trying to leave that night for whatever reason, and he should have let her go and talk her home later. But there is no later anymore, not for either Hosseini or Toscano, and not for Wislosik. <sighs> Every year this day is going to bring so much pain and, and, and raw emotion. However, it brings some solace to us knowing that he took two lives and he lost his as well. Hosseini Browder says her family's hosting a balloon release tonight for the friends and families of both victims. It's not just a day of remembrance, she says, but also of taking solace that finally they have some justice. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.